in Christ. And we are out here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Give me uh, John 8 and 32. The book of John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Why is it that the truth will make you free? Because so for so long, we've been called African American, black, Hispanic, uh, what else? Um, Puerto Rican, Haitian, Jamaican. These are all the names of the, our oppressors gave us during the time of slavery. We don't like to think about slavery. We think that we're free now, but we're not free. So what makes us free is the truth. And the truth is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. And this is what the Most High God said about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Deuteronomy 76. This is, what, this is what God has to say about you, black man, Hispanic man. Come on. <laughs> the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Most High God calls us a holy people unto himself. Okay? But we don't even realize that. We don't realize that we are break, we are constantly breaking the laws of God. But the Most High God said that we are a holy people unto himself. So start that over again. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. And he has done what? Chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Y'all hear that? We're actually supposed to be the ruling nation on this earth right now. That's when right. it says above all people, it means above all other nations on this earth. That's right. But because we broke God's laws, statutes, and commandments, we are a base people. We are below everybody that's upon the face of the earth. Bring it out. Okay? So give me now Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah. Matter of fact, start at verse 1. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So, we're out here to tell you what? The truth that is according to the Bible. That's right. So, we're telling you the truth. The Most High God in Hosea 4 and 1 says, Hear these words, O Israel. Start over again. Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. He has a controversy. Why does he have a controversy? Because we continue to break his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. That's why he has a controversy with us. Right. Come on, keep bringing that out. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. That's heavy. It said there's no truth or knowledge of God in the land. Why is that? Because we're trusting on a, uh, with that image of the beast, that white Jesus that does not exist, That's that right. was created in a, in a lab by the white man. I know. Okay? The, uh, Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's we right. are going to bring that out shortly. Okay? Hey, hey, hey young brother, what's, what's your name? What's your name? Adrian. Adrian? What is your, what's your nationality according to the Bible? What's your nationality? Come here, come here, come here. We ain't gonna bite you, come here, come here. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Do you know what your, what, what, if someone asks you what your nationality is, right? What are you gonna tell them? You don't know, right? But what a, what a lot of us do say is we're black, right? Or we'll say we're African-American, right? Well, I'm here to tell you, and I'm here to tell all of the people out here that we, you are not black. Black is the color of a crayon in a crayon box. But even more, come here, come here, come here, come here. Tell me something. Do you go to church? All right, which one of these is Christ? If you were to look at these two pictures, which one is Jesus Christ? Ah! So, my young brother here, Adrian, you said your name was? AJ. AJ? Come here, AJ. My name is Obadiah. Give me some. My man, all right. So, AJ says that Jesus Christ looks like this right here, this so-called white depiction of Christ. But I'm about to show you 
that Jesus Christ is looks like you and I. That's right. Okay, listen real close. I'm gonna give you, you, you believe the Bible, right? You believe in the Bible, correct? All right, so now, out of the Bible, is a, it's very important that we know where we came from, right? We need to know what Christ also looks like because Christ is not a white man that is all in all these churches all across the America. Right, you know. Okay, so now, give me Revelation 1 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to shew unto his servant, things which must shortly come to pass. So now, he, the revelation, revelation just means the revealing, the revealing of something, okay? So now, go down to verse uh, 13. So he's, this is being revealed to uh, John, J uh, Apostle John, uh, uh, at the time of when he was on the island of Patmos. He was given an image of, he was given a vision of what Christ look like okay so that's why it says the revelation because it's telling you the reveal it's revealing to us what christ looked like okay so listen real close come on verse 13 no, start at verse yeah verse 13. 13 and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot with a girt about the paths with a golden girdle. so the reason why john said one like unto the son of man is because He's getting a revelation of what Christ looked like, and he walked with Christ. He knows what Christ looked like. So now he's saying, now one like the Son of Man. This is what this this is what, so is a revealing of what Christ looked like. Now give me verse fourteen. Come on, verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, does this man right here have white and woolly hair? What is what? Do you know what uh, what is woolly hair? It's like what? What is woolly hair like? It's like sheep hair, right? And that's like here, our t our hair. Like right. when we, if I had like an afro, it'd be like a sheep hair, right? Right. Like that. Yeah. Like this brother here, who didn't cut his hair yet? Yeah. This this brother right here, that's sheep hair right there. <laughs> All right. So let's break. So he said like sheep hair. So read it again. Come on. Verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So it's white as snow. Check again. This image versus this image, come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. They said his eyes were like a flame of fire because Christ drank wine in moderation. So when you drink wine, the, eye, the whites of your eyes turn a little red. You paying attention, brother? Pay very close attention, all right, come on. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass. Oh, he said his feet are like, are like unto fine brass. If you take your shoes off right now, don't your feet look like the rest of your body? Okay, so it's saying his feet were like unto fine brass. Do you know what brass looks like? What does brass look like? Yeah, exactly. It's like a like a cop like a penny, like a, what a penny looks like, right? It's kind of like a it's a it's a what they would say it's a derivative of brown, meaning it's like unto it like it's like brown. Okay, so. That's what that's what brass looks like. So it says his feet were like to, unto fine brass. But listen to this part. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? If you burn it, it turns black like this. Right. So the bottom line is, not only was Christ a black man, but he was a dark-skinned black man. Okay? So no longer should you ever, when you go, listen to me, no longer at this point in time, remember this is coming out the Bible, which you said you believe the Bible, get this image out of your mind today. Christ is black like you and I. So, why is that important? Because if you, you go to school, right? If you 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 seen you've seen uh, some of your friends sometimes people fight or people getting bullied you've seen that with your own eyes haven't you have you seen people at your school fight or tease other people right well if you look at your someone that looks that's the same color as you if you have a different understanding of what Christ looks like now you should start seeing Christ in that person you see what I'm saying because Jesus Christ let me ask you a question. What did Jesus Christ do when he was on the earth? Do you know?
Come on, I can't hear you. What? You don't know? He died. He died on the cross for our sins, right? He died on the cross. He, but he lived and he performed many miracles. He taught the people, right? But what was he teaching? He was teaching the people about the laws of God and how to keep the laws of God. That's what he was doing. His ministry was about teaching Israelites how to live their lives so that they can ultimately go to what, what our people call heaven, but we call it the kingdom, all right? So at the end of the day, this is what Christ taught, how to love one another, how to keep his Sabbath day, how to thou shall not kill, thou shall not commit adultery, all these things. Christ taught. Listen, listen now. So, I'm telling you this because you got to know what the importance of Christ's life was. He died for the sins of all Israel. Give him that real quick. Show him that. So listen to this real quick. Uh, it, Acts 5. Acts 5 and 29. Listen. The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. But the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, but to give repentance to Israel. So that's what Christ did. Christ paid the ultimate price. Are you paying attention, brother? Young brother. And he gave the ultimate price on the cross. He died for our sins so that we can have repentance and, and be able to go through, pray, pray to the Most High God, and ask for forgiveness of sin because of the sacri ultimate sacrifice that Christ paid when he died on the cross. Okay? Understand that? Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.